Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGarGar.com and the third in our series of common problems with your VLOOKUP functions and in this video we explore what happens when somebody inserts a column within your table reference used by your VLOOKUP so we have this VLOOKUP in cell I3 on this spreadsheet that is returning the quantity of an item of fruit from this table using ID 41. So it's looking for the kiwi item at the moment and it's returning its quantity quite happily. However, if I was to insert a column within that range, that would now go to pot. It would now look and it's going to return this blank information from this inserted column. Now, OK, you're not going to have a column inserted there, but we're looking at how fragile the third argument of the column index number can be. And if there's a potential for people to rearrange the layout of your data and this kind of these kind of actions, these can break your VLOOKUP function. So as now is not working unless somebody can change that index number to four and they notice what the issue is here. So there's two main ways around this for us. Let me delete that column. Now the first thing you could do, if that's a potential problem, is we can look at protecting the worksheet. Because this will prevent people from being able to insert columns. Or we can certainly specify that. Now protecting a worksheet is on our review tab. But because we need people to interact with this, and I'm not planning on going through worksheet protection in a great deal of detail here, is something that we can maybe look into outside of this video but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just quickly select all the cells of this spreadsheet and I'm going to go into my format cells dialog box which is going to take a little while to open here we go and I'm going to unlock these cells now yeah, I'm going to get some moaning here because these cells have got formulas in and it's a little bit weird to unlock a cell with a formula. I might just quickly select them cells and reverse my process uh, to lock them ones. But basically, we need to unlock the cells that users need to interact with. So this ID field in H3 is definitely one of those. But also people will probably need to add to this table, I'm sure, at some points or remove from it. So there will be some need for interactivity. But also other cells need to be locked down, typically those that have formulas in, so the one with their VLOOKUP in and the one for column F here, so that nobody's going to make selection and change it, that is what worksheet protection is all about. Okay, we are here for one particular reason, and if I go to protect the sheet on our review tab, I want to make a note that there is an option here for inserting columns. So if I want people to be able to use this spreadsheet quite freely, you know, I could tick all this other stuff, but I can always leave insert columns deselected because I don't want people to be able to do that. You know, that's, that's my primary reason maybe for coming here. So if people can't insert columns, actually let's remove that delete columns too. Same idea. Then I know it's not going to affect my VLOOKUP. So if I click OK, people are able to kind of type over here if they needed to. <laughs> um, but also, if I right click on a column header, here we go, oh dear me, that's just running a bit slow and struggling. Here we go, um, I can no longer insert or delete that column. And also any other method that you know of, you know, going to over here, I can see my insert and my delete buttons are pretty much out of action I'm allowed to insert a sheet but but that is all so I'm nullifying that ability to protect my VLOOKUP okay now that's one way let me unprotect that sheet the other way I wanted to explore about solving this potential issue is we're going to look at adding the match function to our VLOOKUP so our VLOOKUP in cell I3 the column index number at the moment says number 3 a fixed reference to the third column 
as we say, that can be quite fragile. So I'm going to look at writing in there a function called match, which job is to return the position of an item in a range of cells. So we can get it to look for the header quantity within a range of headings, and it will return the column number for you. So this makes it far more intelligent and far more uh, uh, like durable than how than just typing number three and how it might have been before. So it's very similar to VLOOKUP when you start a match and the kind of questions it asks you. First thing it wants is the lookup value, which is the header for quantity. It then asks us for the lookup array. It's a bit like the table array. I can reference this table across here. Maybe I should look at fixing these references in case I end up copying this formula in the future. And then the last question, once again similar to VLOOKUP but with one extra option, is what type of match you're after. I can put a zero for an exact match. And close in bracket. So I've nested or kind of embedded this match function within the column index number argument or question there so I can get our function to find the column number for us. So when I press enter it still returns the answer and when I insert a column which I'm able to now because I unprotected my sheet it continues to work because the match function will look for the contents of J2 along this header row notice it's now the fourth cell or fourth column and return that for VLOOKUP making it very durable, very dynamic uh, you know, it's a really good addition to our VLOOKUPs that we can stick and match in here and have a far more effective formula